Hey everyone, today I'm doing an updated Chi Chi lip swatch video. I actually did a lip swatch video for Chi Chi like probably years ago at this stage. Swatching loads of their Viva La Diva lipsticks, which I actually really like. They're a really good like affordable lipstick and they come in so many different colors. It's unbelievable. If you guys have seen like any of my makeup collection videos and everything, you probably know I own a lot of these. But there are some like new shades and then some other lipsticks I haven't really swatched for you before. I'll link my previous lip swatch video down below where I swatch heaps more of these shades. If you enjoy this video, make sure you check the down bar after this video and check that out as well. Even though it's old, it's still a good lip swatch video. I think I'm swatching about 22 shades today. So I'm going to start with this because this is a cute little limited edition mini set of lipsticks by Chi Chi. Perfect for Christmas. Look how cute this is. What I love about this as well is the packaging. The packaging is actually different and I love it. You can also get all of these colors separately, but this is so good if you're just starting out and want to like purchase a whole of six at once. These colors are all very wearable. I'll swatch them all for you. Or if you're buying a makeup gift for like a friend or a family member, it's absolutely perfect and it's so cute. So the shade at the very end called Beautiful Stranger is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I will link down below this whole makeup tutorial if you do want to go check it out. It's actually a really easy tutorial, but I love the way my makeup came out today. So yeah, this is Beautiful Stranger. This is how it looks like in the normal packaging. It's like a matte and it's so creamy and just such a pretty nude color. It's one of those ones that will just go with like any makeup look. Now let me show you all of the other shades that come in this little kit. The next one that we have here is called Downtown Girl. Look how freaking cute these are. I'm like dead if you love like mini things as well. Like so cute. You can see how like creamy and pigmented they are when they apply. So once again, that one is called Downtown Girl. This is like the perfect terracotta nude. You know, I love terracotta undertones. It's like that kind of orangey, reddish nude color. Absolutely perfect. Next up, we have a slightly darker shade. This is called Hot and Spicy. Oh, that's so pretty. I actually love how this looks with this eye makeup. It's quite like a vampy muted red shade. Like a really, really wearable daytime red almost. If you just paired it up with a really fresh eye look as well, like it'd be even more wearable. Like this is kind of more evening to me because of the smoky eye with it. Such a pretty one. Once again, it's called Hot and Spicy. Next up, we have the shade of Fashion Editor. Fashion Editor is more of like a pink undertone red, a little bit brighter and fresher than the previous one. This would look beautiful in summer with just like a bronze eye look or something like that. And it's also not too bright, you know, like it's quite wearable. Next up we have Drop Dead Gorgeous. I've worn this in the past. I love this one. This is just like your perfect mauve toned pink, like a very wearable pink, not too light, not too dark. It's just like an everyday staple. Definitely, definitely a favorite of mine. And then the last one out of the mini set is called Girl Next Door. Definitely another favorite of mine as well. I've definitely worn this quite a bit in the past. As you can see, this one's definitely more light than the last one. A little bit more pastel and just flirty and fun. I love it with this eye look. This is probably like actually my favorite with this eye makeup. It just really brightens up your entire complexion. So if you love like a good pink, this is definitely for you. Girl Next Door favorite. You guys know I'm not always the biggest fan of metallic lipsticks but these ones are new at Chi Chi and a few of them kind of caught my eye. This one included. This is called Hopelessly Devoted. You know sometimes I dabble in a little bit of metallic, sometimes I hate them so let's see what I think of this one. Oh, it's kind of like a My Lips But Better like pinky shade. Hopelessly devoted. I actually quite like it. It kind of just looks like a sheer balmy kind of texture. It doesn't look too metallic. It's kind of just a shiny finish. Like it actually looks quite juicy. So yeah, once again, that's called Hopelessly Devoted. Definitely a good like entry point metallic lipstick. Like it's very wearable. The next one is called Social Butterfly. This is a creamy finish. You guys know I love shades like this, so that Social Butterfly on a creamy, creamy baby pink. And then next up is another cream finish. This one here is called Bombshell. This one's a little bit more wearable. So you can see it's kind of like a mauve undertone. So yeah, definitely a lot more wearable than the previous one. This is Bombshell on my lips now. And then this is one of my favorites that was actually in the last lip swatch video, which once again I'll link below. This is called Sex Bomb. So it's very similar except shinier, like more creamy. So if you do like a more matte finish, Sex Bomb's really good as well. It's like almost the same. Next up I've got the shade Crazy in Love. Good name. Oh my god. This favorite for sure. <laughs> the perfect light 
peach like peachy pink very warm tone pink this is so flattering and once again just i think really brightens up my complexion and makes me look really healthy once again that's go crazy in love this is a must-have if you like pinky peachy colors get this next up is om nude oh my nude it's a matte and this is a beautiful like nude <laughs> dark the perfect kind of My Lips But Better nude. Another one of those colors that's just going to look good with any makeup, like no matter what, because it is literally like my own lip color, except darker. It's got like the exact same undertone. This is such a good one, so... Okay. This happens every time I do a lip swatch video, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Just like love every single one. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. So cute. Anyways, yeah, that one is good. OM Nude. Oh my nude. Literally, with this makeup too. It's so pretty. I just don't want to take it off right now. I just want to leave this on. But we've still got a lot of colors to go. This is called Urban Chic. Another nude very similar to the last one, except more of like a pink undertone. Or like peachy. Another My Lips But Better shade. So nice. So yeah, if you like a more peach undertone nude, then this one's for you, Urban Chic. By the way, of course, I will link where you can get these down below. Fun fact, some of you guys may remember, I think the shade Fashion Police by Chi Chi, I think that's what it was called. It was actually the first like bright color I ever bought myself. Back when I first started my channel, I only wore nudes, only wore pinks, light colors, and I distinctly remember purchasing a Chi Chi hot pink lipstick and wearing it in a video and feeling so uncomfortable, but so good about myself, because I was like wow I'm really breaking out of my box <laughs> do any of you guys remember that I don't even know but yeah I've loved Chi Chi for years so definitely recommend their products especially if you are looking for like really good quality on a budget next up we have the shade Lady Boss this is so nice if you like a bit of a purple grungy undertone so nice this looks so good with this eye makeup too like the kind of like cool tone warm tone mixture with the lips so good once again that is called lady boss comment down below and let me know which is your favorite as well like which ones should i use in tutorials or like just which one's your favorite next up we have a beautiful like peachy kind of tone something a little bit brighter and more fun especially for summer coming up well it is summer now not like you would realize it plus i've got a cold like how rude who the heck gets colds in summer it's not fair anyway this is called blonde ambition clearly like my alter ego and it's like such a me color you guys know i love my like crazy peaches and stuff Look how amazing that shade is. It's a lot more pastel, so I definitely think you need like an extra coat of this one. Just because it's like, yes, yeah, super bright. But that's how it looks with a couple of coats. Alternatively, obviously, you can use a lip pencil. I love it. If you love like really bright colors, this is definitely going to be up your alley. I love, love, love shades like this, especially when I've just got like bronzed skin, lots of highlighter and simple eye makeup, even just mascara. So once again, that's called Blonde Ambition. Next, I'm going to do another metallic. This one looks quite cool because it's like a purpley plum undertone trying to like really branch out here this is called alpha female i love the name and yeah it's a metallic the metallics by chi chi from what i've used so far seem to be very buildable which i'm kind of happy about because then you can get a more custom finish so it's not just like full-on <laughs> metallic like you can kind of like layer it to your desired effect so that is how the shade alpha female looks it is quite wearable for a metallic definitely like noticeably metallic though like it's definitely very shiny i think this would be best once again with really simple eye makeup but really pretty for christmas and things like i feel like that's the best time for metallics is like during festive holidays and things so yeah once again it's called alpha female definitely the best name <laughs> next up let's do this shade here because I'm obsessed with the way it looks and I can't wait to try it on. This is called Spice It Up. Oh my god, yes. You guys know how much I freaking love orange shades. This is kind of like an orangey red, like a red with an orange undertone and it's so muted and beautiful. I like don't even have it on yet and I'm already like, yes, this is a favorite. <laughs> this is so sexy. Like when it's on completely, you can definitely see it's more of a red with that orange undertone. I'm obsessed with this red. This has got to be one of the best reds I've ever worn in my entire life. I'm not even joking. Like comment down below, rate this color out of 10, spice it up. One being the worst, 10 being the best. Let me know how you think it looks on me because I seriously think this is like a 10 out of 10. <laughs> And I'm not even joking, I'm obsessed with it. <sighs> Goodbye, my true love. I'll see you again soon. Next up, I'm going to do Corporate Femme. This is an even darker, it looks like a muted kind of dark red. Ooh, 
definitely more of a pink undertone this time, but a similar kind of effect as the last one. This is the type of red that's going to make your teeth look sparkling white. Yeah, this is once again so sexy, so vampy. I would love to see this on someone that's like got porcelain skin, super pale skin. <sighs> Equally though, this would look incredible on any skin tone, like fair to super dark skin. It's so nice. Honestly, this is why I love doing lip swatch videos. It gives me so much inspiration. Like I literally just think of all these different like possibilities for different makeup looks I could do. But then I always forget, like as soon as I take it off, I forget about it. So that's when I need to actually write down a list of like what lip colors to use in tutorials. And you guys can help me out by letting me know in the comments, like what colors to use. Next up, let's do another metallic. This one is called Showgirl. This one actually looks really pretty. Reminds me of a copper one I wore by YSL recently, actually. That's right. It was in one of my recent tutorials. I'll link it down below. So this one, did I say it's called Showgirl? Just a beautiful, like, pinky kind of copper undertone. It's very like pure looking. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Like do you get those vibes or is it just me? It's almost like vampy but pure and just like innocent looking. Like if you did like a really simple eye look. Next up I'm going to do Girl on Fire which is like a much brighter red. It kind of looks like an orangey undertone as well so I'm excited. Yeah. This. Oh. <laughs> it's so vivid. Like so accurate name. I literally feel so confident in this lip color. It is so bright. So if you want something like less muted, more bright, then Girl on Fire is for you with like a little bit of an orangey undertone, which I think suits everyone, especially if you have yellow undertones to your skin and pair it up with like bronzer and like golden highlighter. It just like Oh. Next we have Boy Magnet, which is like a similar kind of color once again, except pretty sure this is more like neutral or like pink. Yeah, it's kind of got like a neutral to slightly pink undertone this time. So yeah, very similar to the last one, a little bit less bright, but very bold. And if you don't like that orange undertone, this one's, yeah, like more of a blue pink undertone. So it really makes your teeth just look so white. Look at those pearly whites. I haven't whited my teeth in like two years either. I can't actually choose which of all of these reds I've tried on today are my favorite because they are all so beautiful. And it's so funny because you look at them in the tube, you're like, they all look the same, but then you put them on and they're so different. The final one we are doing today is called Deliciano. And I don't know why my voice just cracked like I'm a 13 year old boy, but that's fine. This is like the darkest, like vampiest red of today's video. There are so many other colors, guys, like this video and then my previous swatch video with Chi Chi. You've probably seen me use a few other random colors by Chi Chi in like tutorials in the past. There are even more. There are like so many shades I haven't even tried before. That's how many shades there are to choose from. So I hope this swatch video is helpful. So yeah, Deliciano. This is so dark. Oh, there we go. It's going well until now. Literally, this is the worst application of the day. Not a lip swatch video until I say, excuse my bad application. This is Deliciano and it is beautiful and dark. This could suit anyone. If you are fair, if you are deep skinned, it doesn't matter. Like this is going to look good on everyone. Super dark, super vampy with that really bright red undertone, but it's so muted because it's so dark. But if you look closely, it's just got this like glow of red. So yeah, that is the final shade. I think I did say 22 swatches. I think. I think that's what I counted at the beginning. Anyway, let me know once again, your favorites down below. I would love to hear from you. And also as a little surprise for the people that made it to the end of this video, Chi Chi was nice enough to send me like so many lipsticks and double ups and all sorts. So I'm going to put a giveaway away in the down bar so feel free to check that out and enter in the comments down below as well that's enough from me don't forget to thumbs up this video if you did enjoy it and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye